I'm trying to tell y'all, I love this stuff so much because a story like this confirms that the Bible is 100% true. The Bible does not miss. The Bible does not miss. Rapper T Grizzly, he just did an interview. He said, an angel of light, an angel of light introduced him to God. If you know, you know. I'm going to show y'all the verse in a moment. But he said an angel of light introduced him to God. So T Grizzly, he's a rapper, he's a streamer, he's a gamer. He has a very large influence amongst a lot of people, both young and old. Very successful individual as far as like the world goes. I want to show you what he said. I have so many thoughts about this. I, I'm trying to tell y'all the Bible does not miss. Let's take a listen to this. And how are you dealing with all, with all your trauma? With, with, with all, because PNB Rock was a close friend and your manager that passed. Like, how, how are you dealing with, with that trauma? I, I do a lot of healing things. You know what I'm saying? Love to hear that. Yeah, I do, I do a lot of healing things for sure. Um, a couple people I want to just shout out with that. Uh, my sister, Tierra. Um, we we do certain things that kind of heal traumas, you know, like sit down with certain medicines and just get that stuff, release all that stuff. What'd you do? DMT, shrooms, ayahuasca? ayahuasca? You Ayo, Ayo, Ayo. Ooh, you did Ayo? Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that experience. Nice. Man, it was powerful, man. Yeah. It was super powerful, yeah. It's, it's, it's something in us, right, mm. that already knows what to do with the medicine once it's inside you. Mm. And it does exactly what it's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it just works perfectly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The medicine is perfect for you. It's kind of Listen, listen. Listen to what this man said. Mind you what he's talking about. He's talking about a drug. He's talking about a psychedelic. He's talking about a drug that is literally like boiling your brain cells to the point where you're tripping out so bad that you're hallucinating. And he said the healing that he received from this mind boiling hallucinogenic is perfect and that it's perfectly tailored to fit you and your trauma and to speak to you specifically. Just keep that in mind. The facial recognition on your phone once it get inside your body and it just unlock things. Mm. You feel me? And the, the thing about it is once it teach, once you learn what it teaches you or once it show you whatever you need to see because it works for everybody individually, different ways. Mm -hmm. It's on you to remember this stuff. Did, yeah. did you did you detox beforehand and like cause you and set your intention and all of that? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we did it. It was very ceremonial how we did it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a room that we was in. You couldn't even bring certain technology no devices in here. Yeah. You um couldn't even step in here if you was in a certain frequency. Like be super positive when you step in this room. We want to keep this energy a certain way. It just woke me up to a lot of stuff. Wow. It woke me up to not only how powerful we are, but how certain things shouldn't even bother us and how great life can be once you see it a certain way. Did you see God? Yeah. Everybody everybody yeah. that does it tell me they saw God. Yeah, for sure. A thousand percent. What did it look like? Uh, it was just light. That's what somebody mm. else told me, the exact same thing. It was just light, bro, yeah. Did, did God speak to you? Yeah, it's crazy because when it's, when 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 he spoke, I didn't. I couldn't hear it, and it was like I, it was an angel. There and I asked, like, "Why well, I can't hear what he's saying?" It was like because his voice is too powerful. It's like you you couldn't handle hearing that. Oh, you was talking to the shaman? Mm -hmm. No, I was talking to who the other figure entity that I saw that wow. was there with me. Wow. So it was another figure with you while you were talking. To yeah, that took me up to God. Like, like let's go see him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you were having conversations oh. like this while you were. Yeah, because I'm asking, I'm a person who asks a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm asking a lot of questions. Like, where we going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, what's that? You know? He said the angel of light. Yeah, there's still one more part I want to show you. He said the angel of light took him up to see God. Second Corinthians 11. Let's just start at verse 13. I'll come back and read the rest of it in a second, but let's just start at verse 13. 
It says, for such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, dis disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. So he's talking about Paul is talking about false apostles, right? And he's saying that they're deceitful. They're disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And he says, verse 14, no wonder for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it's no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. It's no wonder that even Satan himself disguises himself as an angel of light. T. Grizzly said an angel of light took him and introduced him to God. That's what T. Grizzly said. I'm not putting words in his mouth. That's what T. Grizzly said. Do you see how it's, it's like all these little like half truths? The devil is really clever. He can sprinkle in a little bit of truth. But when you really zoom in, it's all a lie. Because if it's not the full truth, then it's a lie. So now you have all these celebrities, and he's not the first one. <clears throat> I remember Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback for uh, Green Bay Packers. He was talking about how he likes getting high off ayahuasca. Jada Pickett-Smith, she was talking about how she likes getting high off ayahuasca. All these people talking about how they love getting high off ay ayahuasca and how it's, it's such a, a, a spiritual transformation and that if you don't do it, then essentially you're not accessing a piece of you and you're, you're forever missing out. And now you have T Grizzly saying that it's perfectly fit for you. It's perfectly fit for you. This mind altering, mind melting, psychogelic, psychogelic, <laughs> psychedelic is perfectly fit for you and knows exactly how to heal your trauma. Y'all must be mistaken. The only one that's perfectly fit for you who knows you better than you know yourself, who literally has numbered all of the hairs on your head, the only one that exists of that nature is Jesus Christ. And he's the only one that can heal you. So when you, when you took this uh, ayahuasca, when you did this ritual, as you said that you did this ritual, you did not meet God. You met the devil. The devil deceived you into thinking that you were having a spiritual um, experience. You were having a spiritual experience, but it wasn't a beneficial one. But the devil was deceiving you into thinking that you were having a beneficial spiritual experience that was leading you closer to God. When in fact, it was quite the opposite. So now you feel as if that your healing comes from the ayahuasca. Now you feel as if you've met God. So if you already feel like you're healed, and if you, all, if you already feel like you've already met God, and you already feel complete, and you already feel fulfilled, gosh, if you already feel fulfilled, then you're not going to have any drive to pursue God. You're not going to have any desire to walk righteously. You're not going to have any desire to, to deny yourself, to deny your flesh and seek righteousness. You're not going to have any want or need to put your faith in God when you already feel so empowered and you realize how quote unquote powerful you are through accessing this drug, through illegally accessing the spiritual world through this drug. And look how, look how, like, let, let's just be real. We want things and we want it now. It's so much easier to just take a little whatever, drink some little ayahuasca tea, get high, and quote unquote, meet God and, and feel fulfilled. It's so much easier just to sit down and do that one day out of the year. That's so much easier than to 
Submit to the will of God every single day of your life and seek him and be in a relationship with God. It's so much easier just to drink a little ayahuasca tea, get high for one night, feel as if you met God, check that off the box and never have to worry about it again. And then, oh, if you do somehow go through some other trauma later on in your life, then you know, look, I don't got to go to God. I'll just go sip this ayahuasca tea, get high again, go, go link up with Satan, angel of light, and we'll go have another conversation. And I'll be fulfilled and I'll be healed through that. And this is what they're pushing to people. They're saying, look, we know you have a spiritual need. The world understands that everybody has a spiritual need. We all have a spiritual void. Y'all, you've heard that statement before where it's like we all have a, you know, a whole, a, a God-sized hole in, in, in our spirit or something like that. You've heard that, that statement before. I think that's true. And the world knows that as well. And the world is saying like, hey, we understand you're lazy. You don't want to read your Bible. You don't want to worship. You, you don't want to pray. But we understand that you're curious about God. So check this out. We have this ayahuasca drink. You can sit down. You can take one night out of your life. Very simple. Drink this drink. You don't have to pray. You don't have to worship. You don't have to uh, deny yourself. You don't have to have faith. You don't have to, you know, submit to the will of God. You don't have to do any of that. You don't have to seek him. You don't have to be in a relationship with God. You don't have to repent. Oh my gosh. You don't have to repent. You don't have to repent. What is, what, what sins? What sins? What sins? This ayahuasca going to make you forget about it. Sip this tea. So sip this tea. Angel of light. He going to take you up to meet God. And you're going to be healed. It's easy. Bada bing, bada boom. That's what the world is pushing. That's what the world is pushing. That's what the world is pushing. 2 Corinthians 11. And no wonder for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People told me when you do it, it's not, you don't feel like high. You, you, it's like you're fully aware where you are, but yeah. you're fully aware you someplace else. Because it's, it's, it's not high. Mm -hmm. It's not high. It's like, imagine you. He said it's not high. He literally said ayahuasca is not high. What is this? Ayahuasca, right? It's a plant-based psychedelic. Psychedelics can affect all senses. All senses. A person's thinking, sense of time, and emotions. They can cause a person to hallucinate, seeing or hearing things that do not exist or are distorted. So you, you drank this ayahuasca. Now you have a distorted view of reality. And while you're in that distorted state, Satan disguised himself as an angel of light and took you to meet God. And now you're healed. Now you're good. Everything's perfect. Stop thinking about that Jesus. Don't think about Jesus. Don't, don't worry about that. You don't got to worry about your sins. You keep sinning. You're healed. If you need, if you, if, if, if you start to feel bad again, or if you're getting depressed or anxious or sad, just come back and sip this ayahuasca tea. Come back to the tea. Come to the tea. Don't go to Jesus. Just sip this ayahuasca. It's easy. Everyone's doing it. <sighs> it's 
a narrow road. It's a narrow road. It's like the more that I eat, eat every day that goes by, the more I realize how narrow the road is. It's like so many people think that they're like good people. And so many people think that they've, you know, have accessed God through drugs or through the universe or through nature or whatever. And so many people are going to be so disappointed when they find out that it was all a disguise, that they were deceived. You have to put your faith in Jesus Christ. You have to seek Jesus. And it's not going to be an overnight transformation. Sometimes it might. And here, here's how good God is. God can transform you and he can heal you in an instant. He can take you from a place where you were addicted and he can heal that addiction in an instant. He can do that. He has the ability to do that. But what if he doesn't heal you in an instant? Does that mean that he's not God? Does that mean that he's not able to? Of course not. It just means that we have to be patient, we have to be faithful, and we have to remain in him and not be swayed by the world. Don't take the cup of this world. Now the new cup is ayahuasca. They want you to sip ayahuasca and be high and be completely out of your mind hallucinating to the point where you think that you met God in that state. So what are you putting your faith in? Are you putting your faith in the drug? Or are you putting your faith in Jesus Christ? You're going to the drug for healing when Jesus has all the healing. You're going to the drug in order to see God when you have access to God already. You just lack faith. You just lack faith. So many people lack faith. That's what you need. You need faith. You need more faith. Even just the size, what's the Bible say? The size of a mustard seed. You don't even need a lot of faith. You just need a little bit of faith. And God can pull you to the next step. And then your faith, your faith will increase. And God will pull you to the next step. And your faith will increase. And so on and so on. But that's a process. And that process is too long for most people. So they'd rather get high and meet fake God, the God of this world, instead. And it's sad. You know, and the media promotes it. I don't know what you could really expect, though, from the Breakfast Club. Here's what I need. The next time we have a pastor that goes on the Breakfast Club, I need y'all to ask, yo, why y'all over here promoting ayahuasca as if it's a true pathway to Jesus Christ. Because Michael Todd was just on Breakfast Club. Now, this happened after Michael Todd was on Bref uh, Breakfast Club, but they have pastors on Breakfast Club all the time, and I never see them challenge the beliefs of the host. It just seems like a very, like, just condoning environment and I'm not saying that you have to be argumentative but loving confrontation is a good thing you can confront somebody in love and deliver them the truth because you love them but if you don't say anything then did you really love or care about them at all I don't know I don't know y'all I don't know then you got the comments talking about, I love seeing men heal. <laughs> love to see men heal. This is powerful. So proud of him. He's not lying. I saw the divine. 
Mother Aya changed my directory, my trajectory. Y'all just, hey, man, excuse me. Get in my comments. Let me know what you think. I'm out, y'all.